Victor says. Now, on this program, we delve into the importance of being, you know, becoming environmentally conscious, and we also explore practical ways to dispose waste, yes, at any point in time, whether during the rainy season or even during the dry season. It, but it's all in a bid to achieve a cleaner and sustainable environment. And Cleaning Edge is a 45 minutes program brought to you by Lagos Traffic Radio in collaboration with the Lagos Waste Management Authority, LOMA. Welcome to the show. My name is Mike James. And of course, we understand that Lagos, Nigeria's bustling mega city, faces some significant challenges, especially when it has to do with waste management, owing to its, you know, uh, rapidly growing population and urbanization. And of course, the younger generation has a critical role in addressing these challenges by embracing a culture of sustainable waste management and disposal. Improper waste disposal has led to, you know, environmental degradation with blocked drainage systems, polluted uh, waterways, and even increased health risks. Now, this city's waste management infrastructure, uh, in a way, still struggles to keep pace with the volume of waste generated daily, like I said, owing to rapid urbanization. And this situation not only harms the environment, but it also poses serious threats to public health and the quality of life. Now, the younger generation who will inherit this urban environment must be at the forefront of change by adopting sustainable waste management practices. Of course, it can help reduce the negative impact of waste on the environment, which involves understanding the importance of the three R's which have been preaching on this program severally. Reduce, reuse, and recycle and also actively participating in these practices. Now, for example, reducing plastic use, recycling materials like paper and glass, and even reusing items instead of discarding them are small but very impactful steps. Education also plays a, a crucial role in this cultural shift. Schools, community organizations, and you know, local governments must work together to provide young people with the knowledge and tools they need to make environmentally conscious decisions. Loma has indeed come up with several initiatives like waste uh, segregation at source, composting organic waste and participating in community cleanup activities. All these activities can foster a sense of responsibility and environmental stewardship particularly among the youths and even the children, because that's what we're going to be focusing on this morning on the show. Shall we take a look at the Loma Academy? Remember last week during the program, I talked about the fact that uh, we we're going to be emphasizing on the Loma Academy. It's that season again when, you know, we engage our kids during holidays. So what do we do with them? Do we just let them play away the holiday period? No. There are several, you know, academies or institutions you could, you know, enroll your kids in, and one of which is the Loma Academy, especially during the summer period. So we shall be looking at the Loma Academy Summer School, shaping environmentally responsible citizens. That's the essence of this. But first, we're going to go on a break. We'll talk about, uh, or rather, I will go on a break, take a message from our partners, Loma, and when we come back, we shall be talking more on the Loma Academy Summer School, uh, the kind of programs they offer and the need for your child to enroll in such academy especially this season we'll stay here with us i need you you need me together we can make lagos clean Make sure you throw away your death properly, not inside canals to avoid flooding on our roads when it rains. Lagos Traffic Radio say, keep Lagos clean, moving Lagos forward. Stop it! Yes, you don't do it! In this 
deliberate dumping of refuse into drainage channels is prohibited in Lagos State. It has to stop. Henceforth, it's zero tolerance for building or erecting structures on drainages, setbacks, and alignments in Lagos State. Government is doing its best to make our environment clean and safe. As responsible citizens, we too should play our part to sustain it. Dumping of refuse into drainages, canals or gutters, destroys our roads and drainage systems, causes flooding in some areas, and poses great dangers to lives and damage to our public structures. Disease from disposing refuse into drainage channels and canals, it's damaging to the image of Lagos State. Remember, there are laws and regulations guiding the disposal of waste in Lagos State. Offenders will be prosecuted according to the law. Do the right thing. Use refuse bins, not canals, gutters, or drains. Dispose waste responsibly. Protect our drainage system. Contribute to a safer environment for us all. Ibega Ikuleiko, Ajumoshinyo, Office of Drainage Services, announcer. If you ask me what a team of heroes look like, I'd say people committed to creating a clean and beautiful state. After all, what's there to love about living in a dirty and harmful environment? That's why at Loma, we built an exceptional team with people like the fearless binga who picks up waste from your house and streets. The swift Musa who navigates all waste to the landfills. Yadupe, the super cleaner who saves our roads from litters. And of course, our magical recycler, Atiluke, who converts waste to wealth. Everyone at Loma is committed to keeping Lagos clean in every way for a safer and healthier Lagos. Loma, a league of heroes. Keep Lagos clean. Welcome back to Cleaning Edge. And, of course, this morning uh, we are looking at the, the role of education in achieving a sustainable environment. Yes, yeah, from the perspective of the Loma Academy. All right, but uh, real quick, let's uh, talk about what's going on out there traffic-wise before we begin the conversation in earnest. Uh, we have recorded good flow from Otoba towards Laos, and that's along the Masha Gudasu Lerry Corridor, connects Nongolana Junction. Uh, isn't bad uh, considering traffic light to alternate uh, alternation there uh, Ogulano Junction uh, beyond that the journey towards Randall looks good and of course we've also recorded fine movement from Onili Guguru towards Masha Bridge down to Kilo okay Nuru Oniwa to connect to Nepa is an appreciable movement uh, traffic flow along Body Thomas Junction in and out of Babs and Masha connecting to your is equally good and the return journey from Bodit Thomas uh, towards Eric Moore on route at Bebe Ville down to Gomu Bridge is a good one as well. All right, so let's take it up from uh, Census uh, towards uh, Gboi down to Adelabu, Masha. All these corridors look good to fly. And uh, taking off from Census again through Olatunu Nimole to connect Aito Nepa Junction. Uh, we have recorded fine movement on that stretch. Traffic lights regulating. Brown Road, Kwakwa Guda, all these corridors still look very good to use uh, to connect Ijesha Market. Uh, Seleo Kota Link Bridge, Ushidi Express, we're all looking very good. Good flow in its entirety. And of course, the Ojota Odialaro corridor uh, this morning, not looking bad. But uh, approaching uh, Odialaro, where we have the counter uh, point, uh, you'd experience some slight slowing down. Yeah, that's what we're monitoring uh, via the live cameras here. Yeah? Okay, so uh, the stretch of the Bagad Dao should express me is uh, looking very smooth. Third man and break, not looking bad in any way, no cause for alarm at all.
So like I said, the youth and even the children as the future custodians of Lagos need to be at the forefront of environmental stewardship. Now, it's necessary that uh, they understand the importance of sustainable waste management and how it directly impacts their health, community, and environment at large. Now, if they adopt responsible waste practices early enough, they can lead to the change in reducing pollution, conserving resources, and fostering a cleaner city. So, teaching about or enlightening the youths and children about sustainable waste disposal methods goes beyond just reducing waste. It involves instilling a mindset of responsibility and innovation. Now, the younger generation can be agents of change by, you know, embracing recycling, upcycling, composting, the three R's and all that, and also reducing, you know, carbon footprint. But most importantly, encouraging others to do same is very, very crucial. So through education and advocacy, LOBA is projecting, you know, the culture of sustainable waste management. Now, the Lagos Smiths Management Authority, LOMA, has begun its annual summer school program in a bid to equip the younger generation with crucial knowledge and skills in environmental stewardship. Now, this program is designed to teach children. We've talked about it uh, uh, some time ago, but, you know, we're bringing this to the forefront uh, once more. Of course, the essence of this uh, LOMA Academy summer school is to teach children about proper waste management. We take them through the process of recycling and sustainable environmental practices. Now, this academy introduces pupils to concepts like trash to treasure initiative, and it shows how proper waste management can contribute to economic growth and job creation. Of course, we all know that the need for uh, a clean and sustainable environment, which um, necessitated the ongoing uh, weekly community-based environmental sanitation and advocacy campaigns across Lagos State actually underscores the necessity of a program like this, which is the Loma Academy. It's all about educating the younger generations on the hazards of improper waste disposal so that they can pass the knowledge to their parents and even their friends and let's say the community at large. Now, for instance, uh, during a recent community-based environmental sanitation advocacy campaign, uh, which was held some days back in uh, Barriga LCDA, now we had the Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources, the person of uh, Mr. Tukumbo Mahab, you know, he emphasized that uh, these campaign, campaigns such as this were introduced to promote good sanitation practices among residents before the formal reinstatement of the monthly sanitation exercise, which is currently being practiced in the whole of Lagos. And while these campaigns target residents, the uh, Loma Academy Summer School Program also prepares future leaders, ensuring long-term sustainability in the state's environmental management efforts. And by educating these children through this initi initiative, Loma ensures that good sanitation practices are not just thought, but deeply instilled in the next generation. So let, we shall look at the benefits of uh, this uh, Loma Academy, uh, why you should enroll your child in this, you know, uh, Loma Academy summer school. But let's go on a very quick break, Lagos. Uh, take uh, another message from our partners, and when we return, of course, uh, we shall continue the conversation. Don't go away. If you ask me what a team of heroes look like, I'd say people committed to creating a clean and beautiful state. After all, what's there to love about living in a dirty and harmful environment? That's why at Loma, we built an exceptional team with people like the fearless binger who picks up waste from your house and streets. The swift Musa who navigates all waste to the landfills. Yad Dupe, the super cleaner who saves our roads from litters. And of course, our magical recycler, Atinuke, who converts waste to wealth. Everyone at Loma is committed to keeping Lagos clean in every way for a safer and healthier Lagos. Loma, a league of heroes. Keep Lagos clean. Stop it! 
debate. Yes, you don't do it. Indiscriminate dumping of refuse into drainage channels is prohibited in Lagos State. It has to stop. Henceforth, it's zero tolerance for building or erecting structures on drainages, setbacks, and alignments in Lagos State. Government is doing its best to make our environment clean and safe. As responsible citizens, we too should play our part to sustain it. Dumping of refuse into drainages, canals or gutters, destroys our roads and drainage systems, causes flooding in some areas and poses great dangers to lives and damage to our public structures. Disease from disposing refuse into drainage channels and canals, it's damaging to the image of Lagos State. Remember, there are laws and regulations guiding the disposal of waste in Lagos State. Offenders will be prosecuted according to the law. Do the right thing. Use refuse bins, not canals, gutters, or drains. Dispose waste responsibly. Protect our drainage system. Contribute to a safer environment for us all. Ibega Ikmeleiko, Ajumoshinyu, Office of Drainage Services, announcer. Welcome back to Cleaning Edge here on Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. We're still looking at the role of education in achieving a sustainable environment uh, through the lenses of the Loma Academy. All right, so I sa- like I said, when we return, we shall be looking at the benefits of these academy, not just to your kids now, but to uh, the uh, environment and to every other tenement in Lagos. Now, um, environmental education... Now, children get to learn about environmental issues at this academy at a very young age. This early exposure helps shape lifelong habits and attitudes towards waste management and environmental care. Okay, let's, uh, you know, take a peep back into the recent Barriga LCDA cleanup. Yeah, now, the essence of this was to, during this uh, campaign, rather, a lot was revealed and... uh, it showed that many adults lack proper waste disposal habits, which is a very big challenge, and this cannot be ruled out. And that's why environmental education is very crucial in achieving a sustainable and healthy environment. You know, having adults not knowing about proper waste disposal habits should not be the case with the coming generation, and that's why it's very crucial that your child or the youth are thought about, you know, environmental education. And let's not forget, practical skills development is also another, you know, benefit. Pupils gain hands-on experience in waste segregation and recycling. So, your children are exposed to, you know, practical or hands-on experience when it has to do with waste segregation. And even recycling, which we've been talking about. Now, and this also gives them a special focus on the creative art of upcycling. Upcycling, for instance, shows pupils how to transform waste into valuable, usable items. And these practical skills are designed to be immediately applicable. And it allows your children to implement what they have learned in their homes and communities, thereby extending the program's impact beyond the classroom. That's the main essence of this education. And, uh, you know, the Loma Academy also exposes the kids to uh, the economic awareness in waste management with the introduction to concepts like trash to treasure. Of course, the kids learn how how proper waste management can create economic opportunities, uh, one of which is recycling, basically. Now, um, intergenerational impact, yes, is also one of the long-term benefits of educating the child early enough on environmental um, awareness. Environmental, exposing your child early enough to environmental education. Now, with the newfound knowledge, these kids can influence their families and even communities. As children learn about proper environmental practices, they can educate their parents, who may not even be aware, potentially reducing the need for extensive cleanup campaigns in the future. So it becomes a habit, it becomes a culture 
becomes a part of that child growing up. Future environmental challenges, they, get, they become equipped for future environmental challenges when they're educated early enough. Now, the children are equipped to tackle future environmental issues. Of course, as Lagos grows, an environmentally educated population will be very crucial for sustainable development. So the Loma Academy Summer School is more than just an you know, educational program. Uh, we see it as an investment in the future of Lagos. And of course, by instilling environmental responsibility uh, in the younger generation, the Lagos Weeks Management Authority, through this initiative, is laying the groundwork for a cleaner, healthier, and more sustainable Lagos. So as, as this uh, young children, it's all about catching them young, as they grow into environmentally conscious adults, they begin to play a crucial role in driving the state environmental and economic progress, ensuring a brighter future uh, for all, uh, all of us that live in Lagos, for all Lagos um, you know, residents. And moreover, the government and relevant stakeholders must also play a role in nurturing this culture. Of course, school programs, one of which is the Loma Academy, which we've talked about, community cleanup drives, and even social media campaigns can be very effective in raising awareness and providing practical solutions. By investing in waste management education and infrastructure, of course, Lagos can harness the energy and creativity of its youths to create a more sustainable future. So, Lagos, this is how far we can go on the show this morning. But uh, before I uh, draw the curtain, let me let you know that you can still connect with Norma via the following platforms. Text message 080-000-52962. On social media, that's Facebook, Norma.gov. Instagram, Loma underscore GOV. Or you can send an email to info at loma.gov.ng. The WhatsApp platform is still up and running. 0708-060-1020. Once again, it's 0708-060-1020. So I must say a very, very big thank you to uh, Mrs. Falashade Kadri. Director of Public Affairs for Loma, and also to you out there for being a part of the program. The show will come your way again next week, Saturday, at exactly 9.15. But you'll then have yourself a wonderful weekend and a great week ahead. My name is Mike James. If you ask me what a team of heroes look like, I'd say people committed to creating a clean and beautiful state. After all, what's there to love about living in a dirty and harmful environment? That's why at Loma, we built an exceptional team with people like the fearless Binga who picks up waste from your house and streets. The Swift Musa who navigates all waste to the landfills. Yadupe, the super cleaner who saves our roads from litters. And of course, our magical recycler, Atinuke, who converts waste to wealth. Everyone at Loma is committed to keeping Lagos clean in every way for a safer and healthier Lagos. Loma, a league of heroes. Keep Lagos clean.
Traffic Radio 96.1 FM Moving Lagos Forward Initiating Rage Process I know I'm falling inside you. 